figure fans, it's the one and only Optibotomus coming with another video review. And on today's episode, we're going to be taking a look at the new Marvel Legends series one to one scale Mjolnir prop replica. Now, so far, I've been pretty impressed with the Marvel Legends series of prop replicas. Previously, they've released the Iron Man helmet as well as Captain America's shield. And Mjolnir here is what I would have wanted them to do next. And I'm absolutely thrilled that they did. For the package, you got a really nice image of Mjolnir here with some of the light up effects. And as you can see, it does have lights and sounds, which do require three AA batteries. For the top of the package, you got another image of Mjolnir with Thor and everything. Same kind of thing here going on, on the side. It says that it's voice activated, at least to reveal the uh, Odin rune. And then on the opposite side here, you got another just kind of standard image of it, which does look really cool. Uh, the bottom, it doesn't really say anything. It's distributed by different things and things like that. Then you come around to the back and it goes into a little bit more of a kind of detailed description about what this actual piece does. You can see that it is a full scale one to one replica that is, according to this, 19 and three quarter inches. As I said, the voice activates uh, the Odin rune right there. And then it's got lights and sound effects, as you can see, kind of going around the side. It also does include a display stand, which is fantastic. That's something that I really wish that I Captain America's shield came with. It's a premium role play hammer. And it actually does have uh, the wrist strap, which yeah, I, I want to say it's leather, but I'm not 100% sure. And this doesn't even really say that it is. It just says that it has a wrist strap. But what really impresses me is it has a die cast metal pommel, which obviously we'll get into all that here in a bit. But uh, for the packaging on it, fairly large, as you can see. I mean, I don't have my tape measure. I have a, I have a ruler. So that's a 12. Yeah, it, it's like 22 inches long just in the box. So that really does make sense that the actual hammer is almost 20 inches itself. But for the packaging on it, that's about it. So without further ado, let's get this out here and see how cool it actually is. All right, guys, so here we have Mjolnir open up and out of its packaging. And obviously, because it's Thor's hammer, I don't know necessarily if I can pick this up and review it. Maybe with a little help from my buddy Iron Man, I might be able to. So let, let's try this. Let's come down. Uh, all right. And... Uh, uh, Apparently, Iron Man's only partially worthy. I don't know. Maybe I just thought that I needed an Iron Man suit to be able to lift this. Maybe if I just tried as Paul, I'd find myself being worthy of the power of Thor. So, ugh, ah, indeed, I am worthy of the power of Thor. But as you can see, this is a really cool looking piece and pretty substantial uh, like it says it's about 20 inches long so um bringing in my little ruler um and that's about 12 and that's about another eight so yeah about 20 inches or so and just shy of three pounds so it actually has some pretty good weight to it so if you want to go around holding it it, it actually feels pretty good in your hand. I have seen some prop replicas that are made out of resin and some that are actually made out of metal and those are fairly heavy. I don't know if you would want to walk around like a convention with it all day, but this is pretty decent. Now, it still does have a very toy element to it. In my opinion, probably more than what we've gotten with some of the other prop replicas. The Iron Man helmet looked really good. It, it obviously ha was made out of plastic, so if you felt it, it felt like a toy, but just looking at it, you didn't really notice too many toy elements. Things were hidden fairly well, I guess. And then obviously the Captain America shield, depending on the one you got, you have a, a plastic one and an all metal one. The, the metal one's the one that I have. That one absolutely doesn't look like it's a toy. And then I've seen videos so far in pictures of the Star-Lord helmet. That's the other prop that's coming out with Mjolnir here. And that doesn't have that much of a toy look either. This one kind of does. And the reason I say that is because when you you look at it from this section here this is the speaker it's got a big giant hole in it well it's not giant but there's a hole right there i think they could have hidden that a little bit better how i i don't know i mean maybe you could have done something here in the bottom but the bottom also it gives a very toy kind of look. You got like the actual screw section right here for the battery compartment. That really does kind of break up that illusion. You got the on and off switch. It's turned off right now. And then you got some other little kind of screw holes or something that are covered. And then you got this little sticker that's like a little warning thing. And as you can see, you do get a display stand.
end, which is perfect. Um, so putting it right there and setting it there, I mean, it sits in there very nicely and then it displays beautifully. And from the side, it looks great. But because you're displaying it with the top section kind of up, you're gonna be stuck looking at these kind of ugly little screw hole covers and on and off switches and battery compartments. So um, I don't know how they could have done it. Like this is one of the buttons that actually activates like the, the voice recognition. So you, you can see the little buttons right there. That's hidden in there a lot better. That I don't mind as much. This though, it kind of is. Now I kind of like it being there cause you can use your thumb to switch it on and I'll do that right now. Well. <laughs> And you can hear the lights and the sounds. Well, I don't know if you can see the lights. So turning the lights off, you can kind of see what's happening here. It, it lights up around the sides, all these different elements here. I kind of wish that the top section and it's motion activated. So as you move it around, that flashes. It's a little less bright on that side. The top sections here are a little bit brighter, but you move it around and it's got the sound of thunder and lightning, which is terrific. I absolutely love that. So as you move it around, it's gonna be doing that. And if you, you know, obviously, hold on, hit things, you're gonna have just the regular sound, but it's just motion activated. So it does get kind of annoying if you're moving it around a lot. Then when you come around here, now this is gonna be difficult to actually kind of show. I don't know how well this is gonna come across because again, it is still kind of bright in my room even with the lights off, but you hold down that button right there. And you can speak two words into this that it'll recognize and it'll actually light up the Odin rune right here. So you push the button and you speak into that little speaker and you say either worthy. Oh, and you can't actually see it. That's kind of cool. Now, unfortunately, it doesn't stay on very long. As you can see, worthy. It's only on there for like a split second. Oh, that, that was weird how that did that. And then it's gonna move and go lightning again. But you can also say Thor. And that also lights it up. So you can say worthy and Thor. But it doesn't stay lit up for too terribly long. And that's a little unfortunate, if you ask me. I, I wish it would stay you know, a little illuminated longer. Hopefully you guys can see that because I know that the lights aren't all that spectacular, but, but I think that those are cool additions. I just wish that the bottom was a little bit more clean. But taking a look at the detail, you can see absolute gorgeous sculpting throughout there. And then it does have a fairly nice finish on it that is very reflective and it gives a very nice metallic look. It is made out of plastic, but it does look really nice. Uh, you got a nice flat surface here. Uh, there are a couple like indents. I don't know how well that's gonna come across because very re reflective, but you can kind of see some indents right along the bottom. How's it look on this? Oh, you can really see them on this side right here. Uh, I don't know exactly what those little notches are. Uh, uh, there you go, you can kind of see it. What those are from, but that's a, again, a little bit of a plasticky kind of look. Come around to the top, you can see the little language thing. I have no idea what it says. I'm sure someone will tell me. And then once they tell me, someone else will tell me because that's the way that YouTube works. But it's still cool, but I love the paint variation. You can see you got some like black wash throughout there, which looks really nice. All these different areas have it. And it looks really solid. Uh, you come around here to the handle, you can see some nice paint variation right up on the top area here. Uh, this, kind of feels like leather, but it's probably just a fake leather. And then uh, the little gray bits are just plastic as well. But then you come down here, maybe if you could have put the batteries in like this section or something, this is absolutely gorgeous. This is actually die cast. So uh, if you wanna, you can hear that. And then the straps here, I mean, it kind of feels like leather. I, I'm not 100% certain, but it has a leathery kind of feel. So if you wanted to spin around. Now, one thing that I've noticed in terms of the accuracy, this is more designed to look how Mjolnir looked after Avengers. So how it was in Dark World and then uh, the subsequent other movies that Thor has appeared in. So I don't necessarily think this is how it looks in the first Thor or even the first Avenger movie. Uh, and the reason I say that is because I believe that the strapping here is different. I think in the first two appearances of Thor, the strap was attached on this section right here so that it looped around uh, like that. And oh, I don't know if I can, it looped around kinda 
like that, I guess, as opposed to how it is on the sides here. I think that's something that they changed for uh, the Dark World, Age of Ultron, things like that. So, uh, I mean, in general, I really do like it. Now, uh, one thing that I do also kind of wish is that it could balance a little bit better. So you have this and it can uh, display it very nicely. I wish you could just set it down on the table like that. And if it was balanced properly, it could just sit there. Um, as it is, it's it's too heavy here in the front. So you do need to use a stand. And I, I love the fact that they included a stand. I mean, number one, for me, well, hold on, I like displaying it. Well, let's see, this way. Um, I, I, you got to have a stand for this. I, I just think that it looks much better with one. And I'm trying to get the little strap to come around the opposite side it, it's kind of weighted so far to go towards uh this section here i want it to go around this way um but uh it, it's really very cool looking nonetheless and for me I, I would honestly say the only thing that i would like different on it would be a little bit cleaner here and then i would love it if they did a full metal version kind of like what they did with Captain America's shield. And then again, talking about the Captain America shield, one thing that I really didn't like was that it didn't come with any kind of base or display. I love the fact that this does because this is an absolutely gorgeous display. It's simple. Do I think it's worth $100? Probably not. I'd probably be a little bit happier at the $80 price point. But, I, but for $100, I still think that it's worth it. I just think for that $100, a little bit more could have been put into it. Either way, if you're an Avenger fan, a Thor fan, this is a really great and affordable replica that you can add to your collection and displays very nicely. <laughs> it just kind of makes me want to go out and get a full metal one now. Maybe one that is super heavy that can't be lifted easily. So if Mjolnir here is a piece that you'd like to add to your collection, it will be hitting various retail locations fairly soon. Or if you want it right now, it is available at Big Bad Toy Store. So all you have to do for that is click on the link down in the video description. You go to BBTS where you can check out availability on this, as well as the rest of the Marvel Legends series prop replicas. But beyond that, guys, that's about it. So once again, I want to thank you for tuning in. This has been Optibotomous. Don't forget that if you like this video, to please hit that thumbs up button. It goes a long way towards helping me out, and I'd really appreciate it. Also, if you're new here, be sure to subscribe in case you haven't already subscribed. That way you'll get instant email notifications whenever I upload a new video, and you'll never miss out on a future review of mine. Or hey, if you already subscribed, do me a real quick favor and click on that little bell right below this video. And double check your settings to make sure that they're set so that you get those email notifications. And as always, until next time, be excellent to each other.